Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems related to engineering statics and dynamics. So the problem says that find the angle of tilt theta with the horizontal so that the contact force at B will be one half that at A for the smooth cylinder. So we have this smooth cylinder and it is lying on this mechanism. We have to find this angle of tilt. So first of all, let's say that uh, let's define our coordinate system so let's say that uh, this is my x-axis is at the center of this sphere let's say let's say this is this is our x-axis and let's say that this is our positive y direction now the normal of the surface is going to be perpendicular with this edge right the normal uh, reaction of this surface at B will be perpendicular to the surface and similarly the normal at A will be perpendicular to the surfaces and that normal is going to pass through the center through that origin. So let's say that this is an A, let's say this is an A let's say and let's say that this is an B this and A and N B they are perpendicular to their corresponding surfaces. So this is this is N B. This is N B, this is N A. And in the problem statement it is said that that the contact force at B will be one half of that N A. So N B is equal to one divided by two of N A. And now the weight of this sphere is going to act vertically downward. So the weight is going to act per, uh, in the downward direction that is in the vertical direction so let's say that somewhere here is the weight which is acting vertically downward so the y-axis is perpendicular with this inclined surface and if I extend the line of action of uh, this weight if we extend the line of action of the vertical line so it is perpendicular with this horizontal line it is perpendicular with this horizontal line so if the angle between this surface and the horizontal is theta then the angle between the weight and the y-axis is theta as well so we have that same angle theta here as well this angle is theta and here we have the weight let's say this weight now since the sphere is in equilibrium, so if we apply the summation of forces along the x and y axis, let's say if we apply the summation of forces along x, that will be equal to 0 since the system is in equilibrium. For that, we have to resolve this and A and B. Now, if we look into this and A, so it is perpendicular with this surface, with, with this surface and this vertical line, this vertical line, this is perpendicular with this surface. So if the angle between these two surfaces is 45, then the angle between this and this is 45 as well. So we can say that, that this angle is 45. And similarly, this angle is also 45 degrees. So now we can resolve this and A and, and B into its components. So let's say that uh, here we have the one component of an A, which is acting in this direction. And here we will have one component of an A, which is acting in this direction. And similarly, we can resolve NB. So NB will have one component uh, which is going to act in this direction. And similarly, it will have one component which is acting in the in the positive y direction. So this component. Now this component, this component is the sine component. Let's see. This is. Let me write that this is an A sine of forty-five. And this component is an A cos of 45. Similarly, this component is an B sine of 45 degrees. And similarly, uh, this component is the cos component. So let me write that this this blue component, this is an B cos of 45 degrees. And similarly, we can resolve that weight into its component. So that weight will have two components again. It will have the weight 
we'll have one component which is going to act in the downward direction this this will be the cost component and similarly it will have one component which is going to act in this direction so this this one is the let me write that this small component is the weight uh, sine of theta and this component this component is the cost component so we can write that this is w cos of theta so now if we apply the summation of forces along the x axis so as we can see that um, the sine component this sine component is acting in the positive x so i will write n a sine of 45 degrees and then the nb sine component this nb sine component is acting in the negative x so i will write minus nb sine of 45 degrees and then this component this small component of the weight that is the sine component is acting in the negative x as well so i will write minus w sine of theta and this will be equal to zero or if we bring this sine term to the other side of the equation so it will become positive and we will have the equation like this and now we can replace n b we can replace this n b by half of n a so this is this is half of n a this is 1 divided by 2 n a so from this if we if i take an a common so this will be sine of 45 minus 0.5 sine of 45 this will be equal to w sine of theta let's say this is equation 1 now if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equal to 0 summation of forces along y equals to 0 again the system is in equilibrium so we have this and a cos of 45 in the positive y direction so i will write an a cos of 45 then we have this and b cos of 45 in the positive y so i will write plus and b cos of 45 and then we have this w cos of theta component in the negative y direction so i will write minus w cos of theta and this is equal to zero and again if i bring this term to the other side of the equation so it will become positive so we will have the equation like this and now again we can replace we can replace this n b by half of n a so this is half of n a let me write it as 1 divided by 2 n a now i can write if i take an a common so this is n a cos of 45 plus 0 0.5 cos of 45 this is equal to w cos of theta this is equation 2 now if i divide equation 1 by equation 2 so equation 1 is this is our equation 1 this is our equation 1 and similarly this is our equation 2 so if we divide equation 1 by 2 so we will have the equation like this this will be now an a will cancel out this will cancel out and w will cancel out so sine out sine divided by cos this is tan theta and this sine of 45 sine of 45 minus 0 0.5 sine of 45 divided by cos of 45 plus cos of 45 plus 0 0.5 cos of 45 this gives us 1 divided by 3 or 0 0.33 so tan theta is equal to 1 divided by 3 this is 1 divided by 3 and now if we take tan inverse so theta will be equal to tan inverse 1 divided by 3 so tan inverse 1 divided by 3 this gives us that tilt angle equals to 18.435 degrees 
So now this angle is which was required this angle is equal to 18.435. So let me write that this theta angle is 18.435 degrees with the horizontal. So this is the solution of this particular problem I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning.